Okay, gents, first up, we've got to run out of the tunnel like it's time to eat. If you can't get up for a test match, then you don't need to be here. Last week, we came out flat. It cost us the initiative, control of the gain line, and eventually the match. This might be the least physical South African team ever, and we let them push us around. This week is about treating the Springboks with a whole lot less respect. Our opponents are drawn from super rugby teams that have dedicated themselves to putting on an attacking extravaganza for the past two seasons. Four SA franchises are ranked in the bottom half of Super Rugby for tackle volume and these guys have lost their defensive culture and the relentless grit that made them so difficult to penetrate. Their mentality has changed and I think subconsciously they'd rather lose 54-52 than win 3-0. And their confidence is one win removed from the worst season in Bok history. So we have to take advantage of that and it starts with controlling where the contest is played at Kings Park. The box had 60% territory last week because they comprehensively outkicked us. In Durban, the playing field is only 50 meters long because anything in our half is going into touch. Stay with it because these guys don't have the stomach or the crowd support to get stuck in a kicking duel. They'll gamble and we'll be there to pick up the loose ball and trample their scramble defense. Speaking of defense, why did we allow them to get away with shuffling their weakest defenders? Louis. No matter what the call is, at every attacking right-hand scrum, when you see Whiteley hiding on the blind side, pick and go on him. Gael, whenever you spot Yankees playing wing, make the call to isolate him with a high ball. These are chances to deal a psychological blow to South Africa's inspirational captain and the poster boy for their attacking mindset. Don't miss them. <clears throat> you saw how they used Etzebeth to contest the attacking lineout, so let's call the front ball lob and drive it while he's still in the air. Bon appétit. 60% possession, 51 more carries, 63 more passes, 33 more rucks, and two more malls. And yet we gave these frogs 23 points. They had five meters per carry, we had 7.8 meters per carry. My alcoholic grandfather <laughs> has got more penetration than these oaks, and that's without his Viagra. They made mistakes aplenty, 37 handling areas, yeah, yeah, yeah. 14 more than us. What we've got to do is kick it to them and let them stuff it up again. Of course they will. Look, mm. they'll definitely be better. Mm. Um, but we kicked well last week. Yeah. Seven more kicks than theirs and we carved off about 150 yeah. more yeah. meters. Elton kicked well. We've got to do the same yeah. thing again. But then, Mana, we are chasing and we are tackling. Last week, we tackled well. <coughs> uh, 23 dominant tackles. Yes. Out of those, it's 11 more than them, out of those came at least two turnovers. Mm -hmm. So we're kicking astutely into the right areas and then we, we're chasing properly and we're making those proper dominant tackles. Then we can strike in the right areas of the field. You know, that's what those Kiwis do well. Everyone says they don't kick, but they do. And then they strike <coughs> from the right area in the field, not way back. <coughs> okay, so it's ball in hand, getting the right areas of the field and then striking. Yeah. Elton, they gave you a free ride last week. I think you'll probably have less space this week, but oh, you've got to take that ball up. You can't just be turning it out. So take it up. Mm. And also, mm. don't be shy to get it wide. We'll have Warren out there again to help us recycle. We don't have the biggest wings in the world, but if we've got a Lucy out there, we can recycle and we can go from out wide. Okay. If that's not working, let's do the complete opposite. Um Rugby had a great column on All Out Rugby this week. Yeah. You know, they, they, they're not committing to the breakdown. See how there was a pick and go, and we were straight through. So if we're not going wide, let's go through the inner channels. Let's go pick and go. See how though, if you get the ball and you get that space, go Mboiki, go! Yeah. Then suck the defender and then pass out wide. Okay, mm -hmm. let's attack their line outs. I know Matthew Proudfoot tells you that you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to <laughs> attack the line outs, but he's not here. Yeah, but two steals in the last 10 minutes. Game changer. Do the same from the get-go. They look like they didn't want to be in Pretoria. Let's do the same thing in Durban, boys. Let's make it very uncomfortable for them. Let's get out there and smash them. 